Picking up for the gusset of a sock occurs after the heel flap and heel turn have been worked. To pick up for the gusset of a sock, first you will knit across the heel stitches, then pick up and knit the stitches along the side of the heel flap, work across the top of the foot stitches, then pick up and knit along the other side of the heel flap. This joins everything together so you'll once again be working in the round. First I'm going to knit across my heel flap stitches. I'm going to knit across half of the stitches and then I'm going to switch to another needle rather than placing a marker. So here's what that looks like. Once I've knit half of my heel stitches, I can place a marker or instead I'm going to start using a new needle. And I'm going to knit the other half of the heel stitches. So now I know that my beginning of round is going to be between these two needles at the bottom of the foot. And now I don't need to place a marker. So once you've worked across your heel stitches, it's time to pick up stitches along the gusset. So we've got some nice tidy slip stitches here and we're going to be picking up one stitch in each of these stitches. If you find you've picked up all of your stitches and it still seems like you need to pick up one more, pick up one extra stitch and you'll just decrease it on the next round. It's more important to keep it nice and even so you don't get any holes at the sides of the foot. So we're gonna pick up these stitches by inserting our needle into that V on the side, wrapping our yarn around the needle and bringing that stitch to. This is a pick up and knit. So we're gonna continue picking up and knitting, knitting one stitch along the edge of the heel flap until we get to the top of the foot. Once you've worked your pick up and knit all the way down the edge of the heel flap, you're gonna work across the top of the foot. So I'm gonna pick up another needle and I'm gonna work my top of foot stitches. So now I need to pick up and knit stitches down the other side of the heel flap. So it's gonna work exactly the same way. I'm gonna put my needle through the stitch. I'm gonna wrap some yarn around and bring it through. You see, I've got a nice V there. I'm gonna insert my needle, grab some yarn and bring it through. And I'm gonna pick up one in each of these Vs all the way back to my needle here. Once I've picked up and knit all my stitches, I've got everything on the needles and I'm ready to knit back to the beginning of round across half of those heel flap stitches. So now that I've got all of my stitches back on the needles, I'm ready to start working in the round and I'm going to work my gusset where there will be decreases at these two points. So my beginning of the round is between these needles at the bottom and my decreases will come here and here. If you've picked up extra stitches, you'll want to decrease them on the next round. If you're using magic loop instead of double pointed needles, all the principles are the same, except you'll place a marker at the middle of the bottom of the foot and you'll have your top of foot stitches on one needle and all the rest of your stitches on another needle. And then you know that your gusset decreases will come here and here. And now you're ready to start your gusset.